what is going on everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to get Windows 11 free on your desktop or laptop computer first go to settings then go to update and security when you're right here you want to go to Windows inside of program then what you need to do is go to this grayed out part that says go to diagnostic and feedback when you're right here you want to enable the second option so just click it then go back out once you're here you will see windows inside a program get started wait until it's loaded right here it's asking you to register and you will need to register with your Microsoft account so click register click signed up tick this box right here submit you're good to go now all we have to do is just close this down right here wait a few seconds now you have to link your Microsoft account so click on the part that's where it says linked account choose your Microsoft account then click continue when you get to this option choose the recommended option which is the middle one if you're just a P regular PC user use the middle one right here you just want to read through it if you want and then continue one more step we have to restart the computer so just go ahead and click restart now and your system will reboot all right everyone so once your computer have been rebooted you want to make your way back over to settings right here go back to update and security then search for windows update as you all can see right here windows found um, windows 11 and it's downloading it and it also found a old windows 10 update so what we need to do is just leave it like this and let it download the windows 11 once it's finished downloading the Windows 11, it will automatically start to install it on your computer. So let's just give it time. Okay, so once Windows 11 is finished downloading and installing, just go ahead and restart your computer. Okay everyone, so after rebooting the PC, you will notice that you are now on Windows 11. So all I have to do is just go to settings again right here. And then I'll scroll down to where you'll see about. This will um, display your computer information. So as you all can see again, I am on Windows 11 Pro. And here is the date that it was installed. The next thing that we can do is go to Windows Update again and here we can see that we have around three updates that are available. We can now go ahead and download these updates and then restart the computer again. After that you should be all set to go and start using Windows 11. So that's it guys, thank you all for watching. If the video was helpful, please give it a like, share the video around and you guys can subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you all and I will see you guys next time.